Hello, ladies and gentlemen. In October of 2020, we took our 440,000 mile 2003 Chevy Duramax on a cross country road trip and we went to Crystal Mill, Colorado from Marble, Colorado. And here is a video, a time lapse, and a couple of clips of our journey. Now the road was quite rough, it was single track with some steep drop offs here and there, no real switchbacks or anything. Uh, quite a bit of traffic on the trail as you'll see, you know, we were heading back to Marble from Crystal Mill, so it was getting kind of late and you'll see it turned to dark. Truck did quite well. We stayed in two-wheel drive most of the trail, but you'll see here on this uh, narrow shelf road, I uh, put it in four low for that and just idled up. And no problems with traction at all, it's all pretty dry soil, but quite a few large boulders along the way and rocks to bounce over. Our truck is riding on the original rear shocks and about rattled our teeth out with <laughs> They're quite wore out with 440,000 miles. And being a three quarter ton, we have the largest truck on the trail that we had saw. The views are pretty epic and with the aspens in peak color during the first week of October. Is our water crossing on the trail and another small one they're puddles <laughs> there's a boulder field scrambled across it looked like there was an avalanche there previously There are pull-offs to pull aside to let vehicles pass. Uh, could be pretty difficult in a big three-quarter ton crew cab pickup truck on the trail. There's some narrow, tight sections, but we didn't have a huge issue. There are a lot of hikers on the trail, and it's again very heavily traffic, but it's not difficult by any means. We saw Toyota RAV4s on the trail. There's a beautiful lake around the route. At this point we turned the light bar on, it was getting pretty dark. If I had any sense, I would have aired down my tires a bit. I kept them, I think I was running like 60, 65 PSI on my E 
rated tires, so a little, little harsh riding. But overall, a very nice trail. I would do it again, preferably in something softly sprung, like a Jeep or a small Toyota SUV, something like that. Uh, but we came all the way from Wisconsin. We did it in a stock three-quarter ton truck with no problems, and we drove all the way home without any issues. And it was pretty incredible. I tried going on this trail last December, and it was very snowy, and I had only made it about a mile, and I had to turn around. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and I hope this was a little bit of help if you're ever making this journey.